Hey fam, what's up? It's April here. Today I am going to tell you about 42 ebooks that I have gotten over the last four and a half months. Yes, that's a problem. If you didn't know, I'm a huge fan of ebooks. I'm a huge fan of the Kindle, even though mine is temporarily broken. Well, not temporarily, it is broken and I need to buy a new one. Oh dear. Anywho, I just want to tell you all of the ebooks that I've gotten in the last four and a half months because that's what I want to do. <laughs> okay, what's happening? So I'll just get straight on into it. Since December, I have received eight ebooks for review from NetGalley. Thank you, NetGalley. First one I got is We Come Apart by Sarah Crossan and Brian Conahan. I have already read and reviewed this one. It is a young adult book told in verse about an immigrant and a girl from the UK and their paths crossing. I have a review. Did I mention that already? <laughs> if I have reviews for any of these, I will link them up here or in the description. Next is Noteworthy by Riley Redgate, which is now one of my all-time favorite books. I love it so dearly. And I have a review of this one as well. It is a mix between Pitch Perfect and She's the Man. If you're not sold already, I don't know what will tell you. Then we have Our Own Private Universe by Robin Talley, which I've already read and reviewed, and eh, didn't really like this one. Another one I didn't really like is Optimus Die First by Susan Nielsen, and I don't have a review of this one because I didn't like the book enough to write one. Then we have The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli, our beloved Becky. Thank you, Becky, for existing. If you haven't read Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda yet, you need to do that right now, please. Thank you, goodbye. Now, the last three are ones that I haven't read yet. I have acquired them quite recently. The first one is Goodbye Days by Jeff Sentner. All I know is this involves anxiety in some form, so as soon as I heard that, I knew I had to request it and read it and review it. Mm -hmm. Then we have two that I was approved for the other day and I'm so excited about them. The first one is When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandhya Manon. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. It is about two Indian American teenagers and their parents are setting them up for an arranged marriage. And I've heard amazing things about it from people who have gotten arcs so far. So I can't wait to read that one. And the other one I can't wait to read is Flame in the Mist by Renee Ardier. Oh my goodness. Japan inspired mythical fantasy yes people are saying it's similar to Mulan even though that's Chinese mythology and this is Japanese we will see now I'm going to talk about eight books that I got in my Kindle for free because they were free because sometimes free what the first one is the Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman this was a Kindle daily deal or something it was it was free which is bananas because it's not usually free. So I grabbed it. Then I also grabbed the complete works of George Eliot. Um, she's a Victorian writer and it was free. The next six ones that I got for free are all historical trashy romance. I'm all about that life. So I got Highland Fire by Tanya Ann Crosby because you know I love Highlander romances. Got Lady Danger by Glynis Cam Campbell. Silk and Shadows by Mary Jo Putney. I got Highlander's Kiss and Highlander's Desire by Joanne Wadsworth. And they are both book one in two different series. And A Heartless Design by Elizabeth Cole. Now moving on to the ones that I actually paid money for. I usually only buy Kindle books if they're on sale or if they're cheap. Or if I really want it. <laughs> One that I really wanted for a really long time was The Highlander Who Loved Me by Tara Kingston. I think I read the synopsis on Goodreads and I just had to have it and it was only $3.79. Then we have Out on Good Behaviour by Dahlia Adler which I bought to read for Diversity Bingo this year because it follows a pansexual main character. Then one that I did pay a little bit more money for but I really did want it um, is Kindred by Octavia Butler and this is a time travel uh, science fiction story and I'm pretty sure it's the first sci-fi published by an African-American woman and I've just heard phenomenal things about this can't wait to read it then the next lot of books were on sale like it was the Boxing Day sale um, so they were all really, really cheap and yeah. So we have The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson, which is a thriller. We have The Time In Between by Nancy Tucker, which is a memoir about Nancy's struggles with 
an eating disorder. We have Do You Want to Start a Scandal by Tessa Dare, which is the latest book in one of her series that I really want to read, but it was so cheap, so I got it. One Night Markovich by Eilert uh, Gundakoshin. I'm pretty sure this is set in Israel. In Search of Anne Bronte by Nick Holland. You know I love the Brontes. Um, Always Anastasia, A Transgender Life in South Africa by Anastasia Thompson. Um, Victoria and Abdul by... This text is very small, I can't read it. I got Once She Dreamed Part 1 by Abby Glides, which I'm already regretting. Why did I buy that? I don't know. I got The Princess Saves Herself in This One by Amanda Lovelace. Not a huge fan of, but yeah. I got The Girl From Everywhere by Heidi Heilig because I was going on holiday and I wanted to read it, but I didn't. <laughs> I'll read it someday. Some more books that I bought for Diversity Bingo. I bought Without Borders by Amanda Hager, and this takes place in Central America. I got Binti and Binti Home by Nettie Okorafor, which are books one and two in a novella sci-fi series. And guys, Binti is so good. You have to read it. It is really, really good. I got Written in the Stars by Aisha Saeed. Sophia Khan is Not Obliged by um, Aisha Malik. I got Gabby, A Girl in Pieces. On the Edge of Gorn by Corinne Dalvis. And then the last few ones are kind of just like a random ones that I wanted. So I got, got Beauty and the Highland Beast by Leisha Cornwall. That's going to be cheesy AF, but I am loving it. I got Jasper Jones by Craig Sylvie, which is a book I've been wanting to read for ages. It's said to be the Australian version of To Kill a Mockingbird. And it's been turned into a movie recently, so I do want to read that one. And I've got Never Seduce a Scott by Maya Banks. This was really, really cheap, and I've been wanting to read this series for a while. Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane was a Kindle daily deal. Then we've got The Sleeper and the Spindle by Neil Gaiman and Chris Riddle. Um, this was a Kindle daily deal as well, I think, for 99 cents. <laughs> This is dangerous. And the last book I want to talk about is one that I am super excited to read. It is a massive book though, and that is The Grace of Kings by Ken Liu. This is a fantasy inspired by, I want to say Chinese mythology, I could be totally wrong, but people have said it's kind of um, similar to Avatar The Last Airbender, which is my favourite show. So I got it. And it was only $1.19. Someone banned me from the Amazon website. So those are all of the ebooks I've acquired in the last four and a half months. Let me know if you've read any of these books. I would love to hear your thoughts. And I'll see you guys soon in a new video. Goodbye!